All right, what's up guys? We got virtual workout number 28 here today. We got a nice little fun one for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. Remember, we have our three sections getting it started with that warm up. We have two rounds. So we're gonna go through this two times here. We're gonna go 30 seconds. So we're gonna need a stopwatch going. We're gonna need a clock going, something along those lines. We're gonna go ground to overhead. So hinging at those hips, keeping that core nice and tight. That plate's gonna touch that ground. Again, back's nice and straight, core is engaged. Shoulder blades are pulled back. From there, you're gonna drive through those hips, squeezing those glutes at the top, curling that dumbbell to the top, and then pressing up and over, putting your head through that window at the top. Remember, at the top, you don't wanna be flared out. You wanna have that rib cage down, core nice and tight in that good hollow position. So we're gonna go 30 seconds, as many ground to overhead as we can. Remember, we're warming up right now, so this isn't a race. This is for good quality movement. This is to get that heart rate elevated and get you guys warm and those muscles activated. After that, we're gonna do 20 seconds of burpees to the plate. So, directly from your ground to overhead, you're gonna set that plate down. You're gonna go ahead and come down to the ground, chest and thigh coming down to the ground. Remember, you can jump back, you can step back, or you can jump up or step up, and then from there, you're gonna jump onto that plate, off of that plate. Again, coming back down into that burpee, chest and thigh to the ground, coming up, jumping to the plate, and off that plate. Gonna go 20 seconds there. This is gonna be a real good opportunity to get that chest warm, get that heart rate elevated. You're gonna go ahead and go directly into another 20 seconds of that burpee to plate. So what I want you guys to do here is take a quick about 10 second breather. So you're gonna be at a full minute by the time you do your 30 seconds of ground to overhead, your 20 seconds of burpee to plate. Take a 10 second breather, so about one minute total of time there for that first two. Then you're going back to that burpee to the plate and then ground to overhead for 30 more seconds. You're gonna go ahead and go through this two, two rounds. There's not gonna be a rest in between those rounds, okay? The only time you have a rest is 10 seconds in between the burpee to plate and the burpee to plate. All right, so next up we have our quality movement here. So for quality, we're gonna get started with some L-set holds. So remember, we have some options with L-set holds. For you guys at home, more than likely, you're gonna to need to go ahead and grab a couple chairs. So we're gonna grab a couple chairs, we're gonna place our hands on those chairs, pressing our shoulders down into the ground. From there, extending those legs out and holding yourself up in that L-sit position. We are going to accumulate 20 seconds in that L-sit position. Now, if that L-sit is too far, that's not happening, we have our in-sit hold. So again, placing those hands on that box, pressing through that box, pulling your knees to your chest, and holding in that instant. So, if that instant and instant are not happening, we can go ahead and come down to the ground. You're gonna go ahead and place those hands out in front of you, pressing into the ground, shoulder blades pulled back, back nice and straight, and you're gonna pick those feet off the ground, and you're gonna hold that little instant on the ground. Okay, so those are our three options. Pick the one that's gonna be most difficult for you, but that's going to allow you to accumulate 20 seconds. We're gonna do this three times for your total. After that, we're gonna move into our floor press. We've been doing floor press for a few weeks now, so again, I've been harping on this tempo. So if this floor press is easy based on the dumbbell you have, we need to really focus on that tempo, so we need to come down nice and slow from the top. So, with our dumbbell in our hand, we are coming down to that floor. I want those knees bent. That's gonna go ahead and keep that low back nice and flat on that ground so you're maintaining that good core uh, tightness. From there, that opposite hand is gonna stabilize on the ground when this elbow with the dumbbell in your hand is gonna flare out to the side. You're gonna go ahead and press that dumbbell up, squeezing that chest in the center. And again, this is the tempo I'm talking about. I want you coming down nice and slow. If you've been doing this at a full speed and it's become easy, I want you guys to go ahead and move into a five second tempo down. Now, if you've been doing a five second tempo, I want you to move up into a 10 second tempo. Time under tension is what's gonna make these muscles grow. It's what's gonna make them respond to the stresses we are placing on. Now, after that floor press, we're gonna get into a lunge hold. This can be weighted or not weighted, completely up to you. If 30 seconds per side is super easy for that lunge hold, I want you guys to go ahead and do this weighted. So what you guys are gonna go ahead and do here, you're gonna go ahead and move into that lunge position. Remember, that lunge position is that 90-90 upright torso. From there, I want that knee off the ground, still maintaining that upright torso, and you're gonna hold this for 30 seconds on each side. You're gonna do a total of five times through on that one. 
So that's our quality work here today. Once you guys knock that out, what we're gonna do is move into our conditioning. Now, prior to that conditioning, what I would like you to do is video yourself from the front and from the side doing two to three reps of a kettlebell or dumbbell swing, okay? So two to three reps of a kettlebell or dumbbell swing from the front and from the side. Go ahead and post that to the TFF members page so that way we can go ahead and critique that. Remember, as always, with that critique video, make sure you tag myself and Tia in that video so we make sure we see that. All right, now let's talk about our conditioning here. This is gonna be a little bit longer of a piece here. We have a nice long run. We have an 800 meter run. We're gonna go five rounds, okay, five rounds. We're gonna go ahead and jump into that 800 meter run. Now, 800 meters. If you're about an eight minute per, uh, eight minute per, excuse me, a mile per eight minutes, if you can run an eight minute mile, this 800 meter run should roughly take about four minutes, okay? So, what I want you to do is use your mile time to help you determine your distance. If you don't know where 800 meters is, if you're not going out to the track, use that mile time to help determine that distance. So if you know you're a 10 minute mile kind of person, I want you to go ahead and figure out what your 800 meter is based on a five minute scale. So what do I mean by that? You're gonna go ahead and run out your door two and a half minutes when you're fresh, and then you're gonna go ahead and come back in. That'll roughly take about five minutes, and that'll roughly be your 800 meter run distance. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that, or we can use Map My Run to go ahead and figure out that 800 meters, or we've been doing some 400 meters, and if you know that spot where that 400 meter is, you can go ahead and run out to that 400 meter, back, out, and back. Again, either way, we want 800 meters. So for most of us, this should be anywhere from about four to six minutes, okay? After that, we're gonna move into that dumbbell swing or that kettlebell swing that we talked about that we're gonna do for that movement critique. So, with that dumbbell, you have a couple options. You can interdigitate your fingers so you can bring those fingers together over the head of that dumbbell, or you can grab that dumbbell at the uh, handle. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and hinge from those hips, keeping that back nice and straight, core nice and rigid. You're gonna drive through those hips to go ahead and pull this dumbbell all the way up and overhead in an American swing, okay? This is all momentum from those hips, squeezing those glutes at the top. And remember, as always, when we're at the top, you're keeping a hollowed position here, okay? You're not flaring out those ribs, you're keeping that nice and hollow. We're gonna knock out 30 of those dumbbell or kettlebell swings. Now, I know most of you have a lighter dumbbell, so I want you guys to push yourself and try to get all 30 done unbroken, okay? After that, we're gonna move into our plate row. We've been doing these for a little bit here now. So you're gonna grab that plate on each side. You're gonna hinge from those hips. So just like that kettlebell swing, still practicing that hinge pattern. Hinging from those hips, keeping that core nice and tight. We're tracking those shoulder blades, pulling that plate to your back, squeezing, and then we're replacing it back down to the ground, and then back with that squeeze. We're gonna go ahead and knock out 30 of those. So we know we have four to six minutes on that run. We know basically for the 30 swings, we should get that done in about a minute, minute and a half. We got 30 play rows again, about a minute. So we're looking anywhere from about six to eight minutes per round. So this is gonna be a little bit longer one here today. So pacing is gonna be real important. Find a pace that's going to allow you to continue moving, okay? We want you to continue moving through this entire thing. The time that you finish round one should be very similar to the time that you finish round five. Heart rate wise, we're probably gonna be between that 80 and 90% here today. You might spike a little bit on those kettlebell swings if 30 is a big stretch for you, but that's okay. Use those play rows to bring it back down or control it on that run. Let's have some fun with this. Get those videos posted to the TFS members page. Get those scores logged in the tribe, and I hope you guys have a great week.